All right. Let's test out this clutch. Something new and innovative to the Thai long tail market here uh, from Mud Skipper. Uh, this kit should bolt up to pretty much any uh, seven horsepower Thai long tail style kit. So it's a clutch for your long tail. So when you're not hitting the throttle, uh, the prop isn't spinning, allowing to give you a uh, little extra control in the water. Uh, the tight long tails themselves are, are pretty easy to control, uh, but this should give an, an extra level of leeway being able to leap the prop in the water while the while the engine's spinning. Alright, so first impressions here. It seems pretty solid, very nice, powder coated, nice pretty strong looking sealed bearing in them. So I'll support the weight of the long tail bolted to this. So opening it up here, we got the looks like the front of the clutch plate, the inside of the clutch plate, which is pre-lubed up for you. What it looks like in a sealed system. Uh, this part bolts onto the long tail itself um, to the engine. And then it comes with hardware to bolt this inside. You then bolt this to that, which has its own. You can see its own key weight in there. So figure this thing out and uh, get it bolted up. Alright, so we got this off right here. This is where it's going to get a little greasy and messy. Um, so we're going to remove that little PTO bolt and take this guy off and then set her to the side for a sec. So we got the, the PTO off here. Uh, cleaned up the grease off of this guy and we'll, we'll re-grease it again. Uh, but I just, uh, this guy was a little stuck. Uh, so I used a rubber mallet and just tapped on this bearing this way uh, until it came off. All right, so it comes with two sets of hardware uh, for the, the plate that's actually gonna bolt to the engine. So uh, either one, so one type of engine uses the metric and the other one uses the standard. So uh, this one's a Harbor Freight so I think it uses the, the standard bolts. But I could be wrong on that one. But these guys are threaded in just fine. And then that piece right there uh, bolts on with those, with those bolts with a six millimeter Allen key. This part goes on next and it has its own keyway in there, the clutch piece. on like so. And it looks like it's already pre-greased for you. And then this will be a sealed system. Skip the step here. So the spacer here has got to go on first. And then line up the kiwi on there. So that way it clears those bolts that are on the inside. So now this piece right here goes on to here. Like so. And then bolts on. I'll see if my free exhaust mod will still fit. I think I'm going to change it because all the all the all the heat is gonna go 
right onto the clutch, kind of where you don't want it. So I think I'm about to put my exhaust back to normal. Next step, you put on this guy, that spacer, and then put on this key, this keyway. Next up, you tap back on your PTO uh, with the keyway in there. So I end up reusing the old keyway that, that came with the, the mud skipper kit instead of the one that came with the clutch kit. Uh, this one seemed to be too long. So I'm guessing you could cut this one to size, um, but I already had a keyway that was two size. And then re-bolt down your keyway bolt. Main thing to remember is that these keyway bolts do not require that much pressure at all. So don't try to crank them down too much. They only need a little bit of tightening down. So now you re-bolt this coupler back on. Just in case the clutch grabs out of nowhere and chops off your hand, it's probably not a good idea. You want to replace your hand tightening for some hex bolts uh, these are not metric they are 7 16 hex bolts wrong side So I'm going to be replacing these ones for these ones uh, so I can make sure to get them nice and tight. I'll be replacing these ones as well. Alright, so we're uh, <coughs> idling in the water here. Let it go. 
at Long Tail Island. Look at that slow control. So the engine's still running. Up here on uh, Monta Island. So you can just let it sit there. Idle in the water. So I pulled it up on the bank a little bit. Not gonna lie, that clutch is a game changer. Until that one's getting a little vegetation on it. Uh, that's interesting. Probably whoever these guys are on the other side. and spinning Just chilling out here on Long Tail Island so definitely uh, first impressions of this, this clutch kit it's pretty awesome uh, lots of control uh, it's a little bit different than operating a, a direct drive long tail uh, but it was pretty easy uh, to get it to get used to. Uh, you can definitely do really tight turns. Um, looks like it can it can bolt on to uh, any style of of Thai long tail kit, which is nice. And it drives so easy. I mean. I can just park on the sandbar, leave it running, and it's not going to go nowhere. Pretty cool stuff.